I don't think that Joe Biden's performance in the first debate has anything to do with his ability to be president. I mean, let's face it. He's been president for four years. I think he's done a good job. Hmm. Biden, uh, Trump was president for four years. I think he did a pretty good job. Um, they've had different challenges. Some of their challenges they handled better than others. But I've got four years of Joe Biden's track record to fall back on. So I'm not going to say he, he can't be president. Um, I am going to say he didn't do a good job in that first debate. But um, when it comes to arguing with you know, political leaders about what the world needs to do, no, I don't think that has any, I don't think that that debate format is anything like what he's going to deal with when he's talking to world leaders. Remember, when he's talking to world leaders, he's representing you know, America. Um, he's got leverage. He's in this debate where he doesn't really have that. He's actually interviewing for the job of president for the next four years. And I think that he's kind of freaked out about it. That's why he spent so much time prepping. Um, so, yeah, I can see how he got nervous, how he didn't perform well. I'm not excusing it. He stunk. He stunk. And whatever happens as a result of this, he deserved because, you know, he's the one who went out there, handpicked this format, and wasn't able to take advantage of it. I don't excuse any of that at all. But I'm not screaming that the sky is falling because of that one debate because I've just got too much of a track record to lay everything at the feet of this one debate. But what about everything else he's ever done? How does all of that get thrown out and just this one thing count? That's, that's where it gets a little weird for me.